Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Mr. Minecraft999 here. As the title above may suggest, I am going to be showing you guys how to use Scratch. It is a video production software, or video, video game production software. It is, this is going to be an in-depth tutorial, so I want you guys to pay very close attention. So first off, let's go ahead and start out with all the tabs. So basically what motion means is where he's going to move. Looks. How he's going to look, what he's going to say, the size of him and such, and stuff like that. Sounds, well, you can get this. Hang on, let me make sure my sound is on. Yep. <coughs> Sounds like that. I mean, or you can even record your own sound right there, so. Pen, I don't really know what pen does yet. I haven't tried it, so we're not going to go over that. Control, this right here is the main script that you always are going to use no matter what. Um, and we'll get into that later. Sensing, when he touches something, when something happens, and stuff like that. Operators, I think those are used for gravity, and then variables, this is how you make the gravity. So let's go ahead and start out. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to costumes, and just, well, just go down to uh, your little sprite down here. It's a little kitty cat cat. We'll call him George. We'll just delete George. And then we'll see, you see where it says new sprite? Right here, you just do paint new sprite. And we're just going to draw this bleh. No, actually, I don't like that. That looks weird. Let's just do this. Okay. I don't know exactly what that is, but... Okay. So, that is going to be our sprite. That's what's going to be able to be moved. Now what you want to do is you want to go to stage. Go to backgrounds. And then edit that, and let's just do a really simple background. Let's just um, on, edit the stage real quick. Just bleh. all right. Let's make a flat level like that, and then there's your background. Simple enough. Self-explanatory. Wait, hang on. Let me uh, no, I don't want to draw any sprite. Let me uh, do something real quick. Hang on. Let me edit that. Um, I'm going to make the uh, base actually green. There we go. Better. Okay. Okay, now you can actually tell when he like goes over it and stuff like that. So we're going to call this sprite right here, we're going to call him Block. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go up to your control tab, and that is the orange one. You're going to bring out when green flag is clicked and drop it and then you're gonna go down to forever and put it right there you're gonna scroll down to if put it inside of there and then you're going to go up to sensing go down to key space pressed put that into that diamond right there go down to your right arrow so it says when green flag is clicked forever if key right arrow pressed question mark then you're going to go up to your motion and you're going to get your X change X by and you want to just leave it at that so now if we hit this green flag right here hit the right arrow you should be going in the right direction but if I hit the left one he has nothing so what we're going to do is we're going to hit that red stop everything right there right click duplicate and drop and then what we're going to do is we're going to change this to left arrow change x by negative 10 so now what should happen is hang on when we click the green flag yay you can move left and right what about up and down alright so hit the red duplicate drop now you want to take out this change x by drag and drop it in there and then change y by so you want to do your up arrow so change Y by 10 alright oh, what did I just do alright so now you go ahead and hit the green flag and when you press up you should go up but you can't quite get him down unless of course you're drag and drop him so just do oh uh oh okay nothing ever happened repeat nothing ever happened 
So now we're going to uh, try that again. Duplicate. And we will change that. Change up arrow to down arrow. Change Y by negative 10. And now, what should happen is... Oh, and also, make sure that you uh, group the uh, same scripts together like I'm doing right here. Because it makes it a lot easier when you want to edit scripts. Trust me. So now when we hit the green flag, we should get a full range of motions. Woo! Woo! Alright. So now we're going to, um, we can do something really fun. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to, when green flag is clicked, forever, if, sensing, touching color, oh, wrong one, click the color, and click that color right there, so now it says touching color, base color right there, motion, go to, where do we want it to go, let's put them right there, so negative, so we're going to enter, x is, let's just, Negative 187. Negative 187. One thirty-nine. All right. So now just go ahead and click your uh, green flag, and now what's gonna happen is I can just get a full range of motion and to we what the wait what. What? 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 Alright, go ahead and stop that. So, uh, let's add, an a let's add a sound to that. So, what we're going to do is... No. Then we will... Hang on. Okay, I got it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do control. When green flag is clicked, actually hang on, just duplicate the most recent one that you did, so it's the one that teleports you back, you're going to remove the go to, go up to sound, and let's do base sound, um, no, yes, okay, just play drum, hang on, all right, so then you'll just choose a number and then choose the beats. So this is what should happen when you uh, hit the green thing. Whoop, forgot to hit the green. Now, I don't know why it's not, it's only working out the time. But, uh, all right, well, that's that. So we can just drag and drop that, so that way we know that those two are combined. Now one last thing for uh, part two, we're going to uh, add a timer. So the timer obviously appears up here. Just drag and drop it right there. Bring in the timer and just place it up there, I guess. And then you'll also what you want to do is, um, hang on. yes. All right, so. Now what I'll do is, when you hit the green thing, look, if you see the timer right here, here, I'll place it right there for you guys, you move down, it resets the timer. So, uh, I hope this guys helped, I hope this helped you guys in, uh, trying to figure out the difficult scratch game creator, um, the link for part two, just click the screen and it will take you to part two. Thanks guys. Make sure to watch part 2, subscribe, because I will subscribe back, and if you don't subscribe, you'll also be eaten by cows. Bye.